So we've got people lined up for questions. I just got one more, because you used the word Christian. Have you ever asked God for forgiveness? That's a tough question. I, I don't think in terms of, I have, I'm, I'm a religious person. Shockingly, because people are so shocked when they find this out. Uh, I'm Protestant, I'm Presbyterian. And I go to church and I love God and I love my church. But have you ever asked God for forgiveness? <laughs> I'm not sure I have. I just go and try and do a better job from there. I don't think so. I think I, if, I, if I do something wrong, I think I just try and make it right. I don't bring God into that picture. I don't. Well, let me ask you, because one of the potential attack lines has to do with an answer you gave to Frank Luntz uh, months ago when you said that you've never asked God for forgiveness. Do you, do you regret making that remark? No, I have great relationship with God. I have great relationship with uh, the evangelicals. In fact, nationwide, I'm, I'm up by a lot. I'm leading everybody. But I like to be good. I don't like to have to ask for forgiveness, and I am good. I don't do a lot of things that are bad. I try and do nothing that's bad. I live a very different life than probably a lot of people would think. He claims to have a, quote, great relationship with God, end quote, but has never asked God for forgiveness. If we claim to have fellowship with him and yet walk in the darkness, we lie and do not live out the truth. If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. If we claim we have not sinned, we make him out to be a liar, and his word is not in us. The coward, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters and all the liars, they will be consigned to the fiery lake of burning sulfur. 